Well, hello. We're back for our first actual tarot video. Okay, we had our introduction. Now we're going to start learning the suits. And the first suit that we're going to start learning, learning, <laughs> learning is chalices or cups. Okay. Um, on the card it says cups. In my book it says chalices. And yes, I'm. Don't tell my mentees. I'm going to use the book. No, I am going to use the book, okay, but I'm also going to tie things together with pictures and intuition because I want you to see what um, different styles, okay. Um, chalices in and of themselves are um, centered around your emotions. They are um, corresponded to the element of water. Water flows, your emotions flow. Um, there are things that are cleansing, um, you know, you cry, you get upset, you allow that um, emotion to cleanse that out of you so you can move forward. Okay, that's where the cups of the chalices come in. Um, as our first card is the Ace of Chalices. Okay, single chalice here. Notice it's overflowing with flowers. It has an abundance, and the Ace stands for abundance. Um, the different symbolisms, there's your symbol for water. I don't know if you can see that real well or not. We're going to try. It's your symbol for water. Um, it also stands for home, fertility, metamorphosis, and fickleness. Now, um, dependent on other cards that are around it, fertility does not always mean physical pregnancy. Okay? Fertility can also mean being pregnant with an idea. It can mean um, bringing forth or birthing into existence um, spiritually or mentally something. It's not always a physical. And that's something you have to remember when you're doing your reads is not everything is physical. Okay. So our next card. Okay. We see here we have the two of chalice. You see up here at the top. We have the sign for cancer, okay? So um, the two of chalices uh, correspondence with Venus. You see the heart in the center for love. And cancer, okay? Um, gestation, ties, and passion. With one being fertility and two's gestation, okay? One says we're ready for it. Two says we're manifesting it. Okay, it's just starting to make it, it makes sense. Um, just like in our lives, we have periods and time frames, so do the cards. Okay, so here you see it's passing, passing from one to the other, or passing from one to the other. Okay, um, before I go any further, I'm gonna do something. You see this? What I do, I turn the card upside down. That does not mean a thing. I never read a card upside down. If I pull a card upside down, I turn it over. I don't read it upside down. Unless, unless I feel a very strong call or pull in my spirit, in my intuition that says, hey, I want them to know the opposite this time. But normally I don't read a card upside down. This doesn't happen. Okay, so now we have number three. Okay, number three, Mercury and cancer okay and if you look we have our two little angels up here that are all celebrating and happy and having a good time okay so we've fertilized just aided now we're celebrating because we brought something forth okay maybe we're still just carrying it but we brought it forth okay so triumph resolution healing Ambiguity and abuse. Now, ambiguity and ab abuse, if you read it upside down, would probably be where that comes in. Um, that's my take on it. Um, but I very rarely see this card mean anything. I really very rarely have my cards mean anything negative. But a lot is based on the cards I pull with it and what my intuition tells me at that time. Um, our next card... Four cups, four chalices. Is it the four? Yeah, the four. Okay. Moon and Cancer. 
stability, equilibrium, harmony, stagnation, and fatigue. Okay, now if you look at her, she's in balance, right? You're going to stand like that with chalices on you without being in balance. And if you have a hard time, because a lot of these have the Roman numerals, and if you have a hard time, okay, if you look, we have one, two, three, four, four chalices. If you count the chalices or whatever that are on the card, that will usually give you a good idea of where you're at with it too. So you can see her, she's in balance, she's in harmony, she's, she's stable, she's not, you know, wishy-washy. All right, so number five, we have Mars and Scorpio. Mars and Scorpio. Okay, and what's he doing? He's reflecting, he's thinking, he's looking around, you see stuff, you know, there's, there's, there's um, liquid draining down onto him. It, it's imparting an idea maybe, okay? Um, reflection, reconciliation, resistance, disappointment, and prudence, okay? And if you look at the card, the, the, the young person on there does look a little disappointed. Looks like he might be in deep um, thought about something. So, five. Your six is Sun and Scorpio, all right? We have memories, renewal, the past, solitude, and doubt. Okay, now, there are six chalices on here, five of them are behind her. So solitude, we have one single cup being held up to hold or to catch. Okay, and you see the water sign on her skirt there. Alright, so. Seven, we have Venus and Scorpio. And we have a young man laying in the middle of the water, surrounded by his chalices. So he's surrounded by his emotions. He's surrounded by those things that are affecting him. He's using his willpower to not give in, not to sink under the weight of his emotions. So the card stands for meditation, willpower, hopes, corruption, and illusion. Because if you give in to those emotions, you could end up in a corrupt situation or a delusional. Um, number eight, balance. Okay, you see four here, four here. She's in balance. She's got equal amounts. We got lady, you know, she represents um, justice. If you look at the, the scales of justice, okay. Um, the card itself is Saturn and Pisces, equilibrium, satisfaction, serenity, negligence, and instability. So, again, you know, this could mean um, a lot of times, all right, it's intuition, but if you are looking at your book, which you should not, but if you are, it comes down to a game of bibliomancy. Bibliomancy is reading a, se a section of a book and picking out what your intuition says. Hey, this is it. Same thing. Okay. So number nine. Okay. Oh, what do we have here in the middle? Look. Look. Nine cards. Nine months. There's the baby. Surrounded by the emotions, the mother's emotions, keeping it safe. Okay. So we have Jupiter and Pisces, motherhood, happiness, ideals, secrets, and quarrels. Okay, 10, 10, we have a pathway of emotions, thought processes, <sighs> patterns. Okay, um, Mars and Pisces, satiety, harmony, home. Wrath, indecision. Okay, and next is our page. Page of Cups. Now, every deck is going to have three or four court cards. These are not your major arcana. These are your court cards. Okay, um, this deck happens to have page, queen, king, and knights. 
Um, some decks just have a uh, king queen page or king queen knight. Some have prince and princess. You're going to find a lot of different things. Um, meanings aren't going to change much depending on the name. Okay, but our page here, okay, she's protecting. Okay, you see she's protecting the emotions over here. Uh, beginnings, curiosity, love, inexperience, and envy. Okay. Our queen. Oh. Our queen of cups. Pregnant. In the mother stage. Ready to give birth. To become the mother. To protect the child. Okay. So our queen is water and water motherhood affection spontaneity dishonesty and misunderstandings and a lot of this will make more sense when we start actually doing readings together right now we're just familiarizing ourselves with the cards okay king is air and water is resolution calm comfort because you know the queen's going to need that she's getting ready to have a baby fraud and corruption that she doesn't need Okay. Our last card is the knight. The knight is the protector of the king and the queen. Okay. He's your warrior. He's fire and water. He's conquest, intermediary, arrival, deceit, and infidelity. Okay. So those are your cups or your chalices or whatever your deck chooses to call them. Um, if you haven't if you are in the Havens and you're looking for a good um, correspondence or quick cheat, go over to the Academy and look in the um, hashtag topics for um, Tarot by Cat. She's got some amazing um, cheats in there for remembering your cards. And um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you're not a part of the Havens you want to be, there'll be a link in the, bot in the description. Come say hello to us. Y'all have a great day and I'll see you later.